With baseball and softball happening in Panama City Beach this weekend, USFA softball finishing its second World Series today at Frank Brown Park. And over at the Panama City Beach Sports Complex, 2D Sports holding its high school Gulf Coast championship. Several local athletes playing in this tournament, some Alpha High players taking the field with Southern Prospects Baseball out of Dothan. This morning they took on Florida Grind, an 18U team based out of right here in Panama City that's coached by Adam Rowe and Kevin Toller who both played baseball at the professional level and now train players at their indoor facility called the Dugout in Bay County. Athletes from Arnold, Freeport, Rutherford, even a couple of area alum from both Bozeman and Bay who now play at the junior college level on the team. This tournament, not only a great opportunity for the athletes to simply play the game they love, but for some players who were 2020 grads, it's a chance to be seen by college scouts as many of them didn't have a chance to showcase their skills during the shortened 2020 spring season. All of the recruiting has pretty much stopped. A lot of the scholarships are, you know, they're done. So a lot of them, this is their last chance to be able to play baseball, even if they had a shot um, with without having the season, if they were on the bubble to be able to get seen, uh, you know, it's really tough without having an actual high school season. So this does help. We've got a couple guys that have some possible offers already today. So we're hoping something comes to fruition out of that. But like I said, it's just everything's up in the air right now. So it's a coin flip. One of those area alum that's already playing at the JUCO level who's with the team this weekend is former Bay Tornado Austin Childry. He's set to head off for his second season at Bishop State Community College and said getting to be out on the diamond is nice because the NJCAA moved all athletics to 2021, meaning they won't have fall baseball. It's really good to be out here because you face good quality pitching, you know, good experience on the field, and everybody's just playing their heart out going as hard as they can, and it's really enjoyable. Right now, the local squad definitely holding their own. They are 2-0 in the tournament so far. Championship games will be played tomorrow afternoon.